How's it going guys? Welcome to a little build tutorial. Today I've got another block by block house tutorial. This is based on the Western Modern House featured in the project that's going on in my Minecraft Let's Play. A lot of you guys have requested it so I'm happy to bring it. Um, but it looks really cool. It's perfect for mesa biomes or deserts and it just fits that old style Western just with a little modern twist on it, and I really, really, really like it. And as usual, I encourage you guys not to take this build block by block, but take it, I guess, as tips and tricks and try and adapt on it and make it your own. And I really just want to inspire creativity. But nevertheless, this is how to build the Western modern house that I, I've done in my Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoy. As you can see, I'm starting with a 9x9 nine nine box, pretty much made out of an outline of red sandstone and hardened clay. You can find my resource pack down below for these custom textures. And then in each corner, I have wooden logs. Now, notice there is this little L shape cut out. Just basically go in by two blocks on each side and make sure there's a little 2x2 two two square cut into one corner. And once you've done that, go ahead and place little pillars of four out of wood logs all the way around so let's go ahead and do that and then we can continue on with the next step which is essentially gonna be adding little feet and this is something I do for all of my builds and to do that we're basically gonna replace every block right in front with one wooden log and just basically go two blocks up like that now it is a little weird to have this build raised up by one block but that's exactly what I wanted to do for this actual style for the project in the let's play I wanted it to be raised up by one just so it was a little bit taller than it actually was and so that you'd have to step up to get up there it just seemed right <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is two blocks up from those little feet is put little arms I guess we'll call them and make sure you're not putting them in this corner uh, we're gonna be putting an overhang here so nothing can really clutter that up and these would definitely do that but basically go ahead and place arms on each one similar to what I'm doing here and then we're gonna connect the beams so you can kind of see the arms are like the extensions of the beams and just basically go in each of those directions and connect all of the pieces up now the thing about this build is it's separated into two main parts which is why we're gonna put this log here this side is gonna be slightly smaller whereas this side is gonna be much bigger not too much bigger but still a little bit that's gonna be very important for style so let's go ahead and build up blocks of three little pillars of three on this specific side and then on the other one we're just gonna do one block and you'll kind of see why in just a moment so go ahead and place just one block there we go and now this next part is gonna seem really weird but if you watch my let's play then you'll understand what I'm doing and trust me it's gonna all come together and look much nicer than it will without everything <laughs> being there but basically just put brown stained clay on the top and connect it up and this is really gonna help out with the modern style and this is a very unique style I don't really think any you know you're gonna find any house like this in real life or anything like that it's gonna be very weird um, and it's a kind of original to me. I just wanted to basically make a western style shop house thing <laughs> and kind of modernize it. And I came up with this design, so I'm happy to show you guys. Um, but next, we're going to go ahead and on this specific side, uh, this side over here, we're not going to do this. But on every other side, we're going to put stairs on the basically two blocks up on the third block. Similar to these arms, we're just going to do it with these spruce stairs. So go ahead and do that on every side except for this side. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to do one here, one there, and then one there. And that's going to seem weird, but don't worry. It'll make much more sense here in a moment. And then we're going to do the same on this side and connect it all up. And then we're going to go ahead and connect all of them up together with a spruce slab. And this might take some time, but go ahead and get that done all the way around. Just like that. And then the kicker, which makes it look a lot better and a lot more modern, is to go on the upper side of the block and do the same thing just without the stairs. So get the slabs and wrap them all the way around. And you can kind of see where I'm going with it already. And that it's pretty much a very unique design. <laughs> I will admit that. But man, you can kind of already see. It just creates this perfect overhang and this perfect hat almost. And it just fits the style all too well. And 
that's pretty much it for the main foundation. So we can go ahead and trash most of these blocks. But let's go ahead and kind of fill in the walls. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose which side you'd like the door to be in. Now you could do it on this side. You could do it on this side. Really any side, just as long as it's not within these little spots here. I think for simplicity, I'm just going to do one right here. That way we have a little bit more room walking into the house. So go ahead and fill in jungle wood planks on each side. Make sure to leave a spot for the door. And just fill in all the walls, except for the top layer. You're going to just want to fill all of these with jungle wood. There we go. And do the same thing on the upper side, just with normal wooden planks. Now that we've done that, we're pretty much going to add more detail to it by mixing the colors up except well basically just adding different shades so for example we're going to get this hardened clay and just kind of splash it around just a very small amount but just pretty much like that and random patterns all around and don't worry i know it looks weird with the floor being this but honestly you can change this to any block you'd like just as long as uh, you know the walls here are this and you have a solid foundation you are all good to go but basically just randomize each side, each face, just with this different shade of pink. And then do the same thing up here just with jungle wood. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize it and get a design going. And uh, we'll pick up from there. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and open up little slots for the windows. And I wouldn't do too many windows, but make sure to be a little bit generous. Just I wouldn't do them on every single side. Um, although in this case I've pretty much done that. I'm going to cover that one up and then we're going to put a window there. If you wanted, you could put a fireplace here and have it kind of wrap up around the build. Just a little bit different from the style I'm used to, but feel free to add that. And I really inspire you guys to, you know, well I guess I encourage you guys to be inspired and go and create your own designs based off of this. I'd love to see them. Just because it's a block by block tutorial doesn't mean I necessarily want you to follow it block by block. <laughs> but next we're going to add these little wrappers as I like to call them. And it's basically just a pattern of stair, upside down stair, two half slabs, an upside down stair, and a normal stair. And you're just going to put that on each side just like this. So all the way around and connect it up. This is like my signature at this point. I do this on every single build. But you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna just add that to each. Now it's not gonna necessarily match up with this, which might seem a little weird, but don't worry. Uh, I am gonna change that, I think. That looks a little bit better. But don't worry, it's not too noticeable from afar. And as long as you can forget about it, you're, you're good. <laughs> but once you've done that, and it looks like we have gotten it all completed, you're gonna wanna pretty much clear up some room and you're gonna wanna grab a jungle fence half not a half slab a trap door um, and a spruce fence and we're gonna just go along each little arm here and go on the bottom and place a spruce fence this is optional I just kinda like to do it for more support and I don't really know why I'm doing this either it just kinda adds more color to it which may be a tip if you're not building this block by block you may learn from it but go around on each leg and cap it off with a trap door instead of doing this which you could also do what it's going to do is tie in those colors together and provide more of a total complete like color palette. And I just think it looks cool, so don't judge me. <laughs> and then go in each window and place a jungle fence just like this. And I think that's the last one. We've got this one here. I didn't do one there. One there. And I think that is all good to go. Then we're going to go ahead and place our door. May as well grab that. And what I like to do is place the door inward like that. You could do it like that or even one block out, which would kind of provide a little bit of depth. You could even cap it off like that. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. I like how it's kind of protruding out. I think that's the word. <laughs> it's like slightly poking out and it gives a little bit more depth and all that. And it's just good looking. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now pretty much the second to most important part. We're going to grab a trap door and some jungle wood slabs. Go inside the roof here and just place slabs all the way on to cap it off. And do the same thing over here. This one's going to be a little bit more weird. Um, but like I said, if you can just get used to it and kind of just forget that it's there, it won't bug you too bad. And then just surround that with trap doors. A little bit expensive, but not too expensive. That just makes it look a little bit better from above. And then what I like to recommend is to grab some glowstone 
So glowstone there. We're going to grab some red wool. That's red hardened clay. <laughs> red wool, cobblestone, walls, and an iron fence. One jungle slab and fence. There we go. All in one. Perfect. And this is going to really tie the design together with a nice solid color. Basically go in the very middle of the top here, place one glowstone. Then you're going to do two blocks of cobblestone wall, one jungle fence, one iron fence, a jungle slab to cap it off, and then just build a nice little flag. A very simple three block flag will do. Just make sure it's following the direction that your, uh, your, you know, the wind in the world is going. Make sure it's matching all other houses. And the last thing to do is to come over here and grab your wooden trap door followed by some jungle fences and maybe some chests or if you're using my resource pack some crates and you're gonna wanna just come over here you could even extend this out if you wanted to I usually don't I just kinda let it touch the ground and have your jungle fence come all the way up to about that point and then cap it off with a wooden trap door go here in the middle and place four trap doors kind of on the outside there on the uh, bottom that is. Notice I'm building kind of these on that level and those down there. That's pretty much going to add that kind of shack -y feel where it's kind of like sloping upwards. Now I would do it the other way um, but fences you know they can't connect to these. They would pretty much do that so that's kind of perfect. Plus it all kind of works out together. So you're going to pretty much do an overhang like that or you could use oak fences or oak slabs either one's really you know it, it works <laughs> and then place your block that you chose for storage under there so it just kind of looks like it's being stored and now the last thing you can really do in terms of adding some more decoration i guess they uh they vanished but grab some birch leaves or if you're in a mesa biome grab some oak leaves and just go around and place a few here and there not too many now i will say it looks a lot better in a mesa biome because the colors, the grass is a little bit more yellow. You can get away with it though. It just looks a little odd. In fact, I might get rid of it. I don't know. Um, basically, with you see this acacia sapling here. When you're in a mesa biome, the leaves look like that color of green, so it kind of matches a little bit better. Right now, it just looks a little bit too green. This really only fits in that desert setting. So I think I'm going to get rid of them for now. Worth trying, at least. <laughs> All right, guys, that has been how to build a wooden modern house, a.k.a. the house that I've been building in the project world. It's been very cool. It's been a very cool design. I've been really happy with it, and I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. So please make sure to send me photos on Twitter of how you've incorporated the tips or build in this video in your own builds. I'd love to see what you've done, and I really always encourage you guys not to follow the design block by block, but try and adapt on it and try and make it your own. Um, but regardless, this has been How to Build a Western Modern House. I think it looks really cool, and I'd love to know your opinions. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.